When you buy a set of mechano wheels, you get two types of these wheels. The first type, as you can see here, has these rollers facing to the right. So no matter in which way you hold the wheel, the rollers will always face to the right. And the second type is the exact opposite, which is right here, has the rollers facing to the left. So when you mount these wheels, you have to mount them in a specific way. As you can see here, on the right side of the robot, in the back, the wheel is facing inwards. And on the front, the wheel is facing outwards. So they're alternating. The same way, on this side of the robot, the front wheel is facing outwards. And when you put the back wheel in, it's facing inwards. So they're alternating as well. We are using the nerve rest motors and to mount these wheels on the motor we need to have this mounting plate. I will try to leave a link in the description to the wheel itself and if I can a link to these plates. You also have to code the robot in a specific way and let me explain how our controller works. So in this Logitech controller, when you press the left stick forward, the robot moves forward. And when you press it backwards, it moves backwards. When you press the right stick to the left, the robot is going to turn left, not move left. And this the same way to the right, it's, going, it's going to turn right. And when you press the left trigger on the back, the robot is going to strafe to the left. So it's going to move directly to the left and not rotate. And the same with the right stick. So let me show you a piece of our code. We're not currently using encoders, but we recommend you to do so for more accuracy and precision.